Hello guys. Welcome to Best Movie Recaps. Today, I am going to recap a movie where a sheep give birth to a half lamb and half human child, and a lonely couple steals her lamb and killed its mother, but its biological father came and take his revenge. So without any further delay, let's start. During a snowstorm, a group of horses is frightened by an unknown creature. Later, the same heavily breathing creature walks into a nearby barn and alerts the sheep. The childless couple Ingvar and Maria live in the mountains of Iceland. They are living a very primitive quiet life, while taking care of the sheep and farming the land to grow vegetables for the family. As the place is quite secluded from the rest of the world, they spend most of their time in each other's company or doing chores around the house. One evening, as Maria marks their sheep to keep track of how many they have in the barn, she thinks the number is better than the last year, but Ingvar is not interested in expanding the herd, as they don't have any need to spend money on. While talking to him about work, Maria tells him about the tractor, saying it's causing problems again, to which he replies they should get it fixed before the plantation season. They experience a strange event, as one of the sheep gives birth to a hybrid lamb, with half sheep half human body. Realizing he is more inclined toward being human, Maria takes her inside the house, and both start taking care of her. As they don't have any children of their own, they dedicate their love to the lamb, whom they name, Ada. Ingvar even brings in a baby cart for Ada, and puts it in their bedroom, so she can be with them all the time. As they accept Ada as their family member, her biological mother keeps on calling her, but they don't return her. Seeing Maria treating her like a child, Ingvar gets upset, and cries out of disappointment for not having one of their own, but hides his grief from Maria, as he does not want to hurt her. As Ingvar tries to fix the tractor, his dog points him out to something strange in the field, but they cannot figure out what it is. Time goes by, and Ada's mother keeps on showing up outside the house in search of her child, but Maria always sends her away as Ada watches her. One morning as Maria leaves to work in the fields, and Ingvar takes care of Ada, he accidentally leaves the house door open before going out to work in the shed. As both come back to the house, Maria asks about Ada. He tells her that he put her to sleep before going outside. She goes on to check on her, but can't find her in the bedroom. They look around the house and realize that Ada is missing from the house. Maria gets worried about her, but he assures her that he will find her soon. They start searching the area, but neither of them can find her anywhere. As they come back hopelessly, Maria hears the sheep from the barn and runs over to them, where she finds Ada sleeping beside her mother. They immediately take her from the sheep and cover her to save her from the freezing cold. As they take her back inside the house, the mother sheep starts following them, but Maria once again sends her away. After coming back inside and putting her in the bed, both finally take a sigh of relief, knowing their daughter is now safe with them. As time passes, Ada becomes an important part of the family, especially for Maria, who cannot live without her and spends a lot of time with her. While sleeping at night, Maria experiences nightmares about the sheep, thinking they might take Ada away from her. She gets worried about Ada, and thinks of a plan to get rid of the threat. Leaving Ingvar and Ada sleeping, she comes outside the house and shoots Ada's mother. Maria buries the sheep in the ground, without knowing that Ingvar's brother Pator, who has just arrived, witnessed the entire incident. As Pator spends the night in the barn, he spots a human sheep hybrid, but thinks it's a dream as it quickly disappears. The next morning, he wakes up and meets Ingvar, who feels happy to see him back after a long time. Ingvar takes him outside, and asks Maria to prepare breakfast for the guest. As they sit around the dining table, Ada, who has grown up now, shows up at the door, and Maria introduces her to Pator. He gets a little upset to see her, but does not say anything. As Ada and Maria spend time together, and Ingvar paints the house, Pator comes back inside the house and watches them playing with each other. When Ingvar comes over, he expresses his displeasure over Ada, but Ingvar does not care about his opinion, as he thinks of Ada as the reason for their happiness. At night, as Maria brings Ada to say goodnight to him and Ingvar, Pator again tries to speak to Ingvar about keeping her, but he stops him as he does not want to talk about it. He offers Pator to stay as long as he wants, but stops him from interfering with their personal lives. As Maria is not happy with Pator's attitude, she asks Ingvar about his stay, but Ingvar knows he might live for a while, as he often comes over to hide from the people he owes money to. The next morning, as they plant potatoes in the field, the dog watches over Ada, but she scares him away. While taking a break from work, Pator makes a move on Maria but she shuts him away. He once again says they have brought an animal inside the home, but Maria does not pay much attention to his concerns, as he has nothing to do with their family matters. 
The next morning, Ingvar wakes him up to get some help in cleaning the shed. While cleaning the stuff, Pator finds his old drums and excitedly starts playing, while Ada enjoys, but he gets annoyed by her. He tries to mock her by forcing her to eat like a lamb, but Ingvar shows up and scolds him for teasing her like this. One night as they sleep, Pator takes Ada with him for a morning walk without letting them know, and intends to shoot her, but changes his mind after looking at her innocent face. Soon after, Maria wakes up and finds Ada missing from her cart. She gets worried and searches for her around the house, but finds her sleeping in Pater's arms, realizing that he has finally accepted her. Maria pays a visit to the cemetery, revealing she and Inver had a daughter named Ada, and named the lamb after her. While reading the stories to Ada, Ingvar remembers his deceased daughter, and how he felt the pain after losing her, but Maria calms him down. Pator grows close to Ada and often takes her outside with him. Ingvar and Maria feel happy and relaxed to see the two of them finally getting along with each other. While fishing with Ada, Pator tells her about his and Ingvar's childhood. As they ride back home, the tractor breaks down in the middle of the road. After being unable to find the problem, he leaves it there and walks back home with Ada. After having dinner, all of them watch a game together, but get frustrated as the team loses the match. Seeing them upset, Maria decides to cheer them up, and plays an old music video of Pator. It changes everyone's mood as they start dancing to the beat. As they all start enjoying and drinking, Ada leaves the house and spots her biological father. She gets shocked to see that she looks like him, and not like Maria or Ingvar. Back at the house, Ingvar gets drunk and falls on the floor. Pator takes him to bed, where Ada joins him. He quickly falls asleep, but Ada can't stop thinking about what she saw outside the house. Meanwhile, Pator comes back to the kitchen and once again tries to flirt with Maria, but she stops him. After seeing that she is not paying attention to him, he blackmails to tell Ada that she killed her mother. After listening to him, Maria pretends to have fallen into his trap, but locks him in the closet. He keeps on calling her and banging on the door, but she ignores his requests to open the door. The next morning, she wakes him up and asks him to leave the house. As she drives him, Ingvar wakes up and looks for them around the house, while Ada helps him with breakfast. After dropping him at the bus stop, Maria tells him that Ada is a gift for them, who is helping them to start over again. Although upset by his behavior, she gives him money to help him with his expenses and says goodbye to him, as he boards the bus to leave town. Meanwhile, Ingvar takes Ada with him to fix the tractor and talks to her, while describing how she can get home if she loses her way. He cannot get the issue resolved, so walks back with Ada. Maria happily drives back home, thinking they can finally live in peace with Ada. After coming back, she searches for Ingvar and Ada but can't find them around the house. Soon, she hears a gunshot, and runs over to check on Ingvar. But the hybrid creature who has already killed her dog, shoots him in the neck, in front of Ada. Ada lies next to him, but he grabs her hand and snatches her from Ingvar, although she does not want to leave him alone. She keeps on looking back at him with teary eyes, but her biological father takes her away, and Ingvar can't do anything except look at them in distress. Soon, Maria finds him in a badly injured condition, and picks him up, but he dies in her arms. Maria cries over her loss, and closes her eyes in despair. And that's it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.